Hey everyone, welcome to the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you'd like to hang out in between videos, come check out the Discord. Uh, today we're going to be checking out the Purple album. Um, I'm always excited for new Mama Moo music, so let's get right into it. All right, so first up we have Finally. Um, I only was able to find a fan cam of this one live. Uh, if anybody knows of a better video for it, let me know. But this one seemed to have kind of the most views for it and in decent quality from what I could tell from the thumbnail. So let's go. Girls, geez. Solar, kill it. How oh, the hip backup dances off to the side there, too. So, I'm not going to talk too much about the song itself there because the audio quality on this fan cam was uh, pretty muffled, so I didn't really get a good chance to hear a lot of the production um, or the real kind of flavor of the song. Um, but I really did enjoy getting to see the choreo because that was a lot of fun. Um, I don't know what I expected with 
the choreo for this one, um, or if it even, I didn't even really expect it to have any choreo, because a lot of B-sides tend not to. Um, but I was not expecting like the oversized dress shirt um, and nothing else look and kind of sexy choreo going on. Um, they were definitely hitting the body rolls throughout that. Um, yeah, it looked like they were having a lot of fun on stage, right? And the best part about Mamamoo seems to be that they are live experts. And while it was nice, it would have been nice to have like better audio quality on the video. It was really nice to see all of the Moomoos kind of like interact with the group during the song and hear the cheers and hear everything going. Um, so I really did appreciate that. Uh, but I am very excited to hear the full song in the studio version because the chorus sounded really catchy. Um, I have a feeling this could be a song that I really latch on to once we finally get to hear the whole thing. All right, let's go. Synth the back in the back, or is that like a xylophone? That's just a happy beat. I love the shit out of that. Um, it's really different from like almost the entirety of their discography before this, right? Like th it has no traces really of that kind of retro jazz vibe to it. Um, it feels almost like a dance track in some places and it's very poppy and very bright. Um, but still, like, 
uniquely Mamamoo, right? The the vocal stylings and the way that they hit the beat and the way that um, they do things are really their own colors, but it, it feels like they took their style of singing and their style of music and ported it over from that more retro sound to something um, a little poppier, a little dancier. Um, and I love it. It's really good. Um, yeah, I think the... This might be the first Mamamoo track to end up on a, on a, like a gym playlist or a running playlist. Like it just makes me feel good. Um, and it definitely has a beat that you can kind of go to. Um, I don't know what I was expecting with this album, but it wasn't this. And I'm happy I was wrong. Um, all right. Next up, I think, is Moonbill's solo song, or a, her song with a collaborator, and I don't remember the full name of it, but uh, we'll just see, all right? just the a dance video or is this a song too the go no do shitakan tai kom kup semo mala ka chung de gin and a son to ma mura de de na holo chol chol men ne mo se behind shime o chom en yu chi he chom man ga nen sang sang so ge nal do chora ha ge man de nen go ni ga ni na Okay. They got when I show a hassle car. Send God for that. I'm on an old door. Oh, thank it, Moon. Single but job go your catchy man. No, yeah, you're like I'm talking. Only you. Switch up. I think this is our first, like, instance of seeing what a good dancer Moonbeal is. At least in terms of like in order of the discography and the singer. kind of faded out production. Ah, oh, 
nice. Okay, so it wasn't... There was a collaboration in terms of the dance and in some harmonies there, but there wasn't really, like, someone else on a verse or anything like that. But, um... Wow. Like, I knew she could sing, right? Everybody had said she could sing. We had seen some clips of her singing that were good, but, like... This is the first time we've seen her solo on a track on the channel, and it really works. Like, she really killed that. Um, it's got a nice, it's just such a vibe, right? Like, everything about that just feels like it's set for a specific mood. Um, and it's executed like pretty flawlessly all the way through like the to the performance video being superbly well lit with the like the smoky um light through the smoke kind of shots and that uh where she's wearing the suit uh, the tie and dress shirt um to like this kind of more grungy dance studio-esque um spot for the rest of the the group choreo um yeah, man, I just really enjoyed that. Uh, I'm curious to see if in the studio version slash lyric version, if maybe um, there's something I missed in the lyrics because I was focused very heavily on the dance. Um, that's like the other thing that was blowing me away. Like, I know she's considered a, one of the two performers on the... Uh, uh, in the group and there's no main dancer but she's got some real moves like yeah man this was impressive all right let's let's get to the lyrics okay so it's not considered a um collaboration i don't know why i thought that then maybe it's because there was some harmonies in there Make a winner, Sounds like a real toxic relationship. Man, the chorus on this one is so good.
Um, yeah, so like from a lyrics perspective, right? I think everybody has at least known someone who's gone through a relationship like this uh, or been through one themselves where it's like, you know that they're not good for you um, because they're not there when you need them to be there, but that you can't, your heart can't help yourself. Like, uh, but still care for that person, still want that person. Um, so there's like this internal struggle between love and hate and it makes you feel worthless. So, I mean, like, I think this is one of those songs that speaks to a near, maybe not universal, but like really extremely relatable concept. Um, and she does it in such a way that it's really approachable, right? Because it's not this overly melodramatic, cloying kind of uh, song. It's got just like chill vibes to the whole thing. And it's an it's interesting. It, it really is because like I don't know if for me that personally elevates the theme of the song or takes away from it, right? Because if you think about these kinds of lyrics, is it that she's looking back at this time um, and reflecting on it and that's why it's more chill now? Or if it's something more like... Um, She doesn't really know what to do with it, and it's more of a like a self-pity of being feeling worthless. Um, and that chill vibes are are less like chill and more just like I'm out of I'm out of the energy to kind of get myself up to do more than this, right? I don't know, could be digging too deep into it. But uh, I really enjoyed that song, and I think Moon killed it and needs to do more um, vocalist stuff in their main discography as well. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, next up, we have Aze Gag, uh, which I've heard is a crackhead song and a joke song um, and all about dad jokes, and that the translation on this one might be tough because their dad jokes so a lot of it is going to be puns um in korean which you know it's going to be hard for me to get but we're going to make our way through it and see what we we can catch Okay, so this song is going to be like complete nonsense if you don't know Korean. Got it. Let's 
I feel called out though, middle-aged man, being the, the main uh Although I'm not middle-aged yet. We're getting there. Okay. I imagine that this is very funny if you understand, but I have no idea what's going on. Is that their CEO doing that? Okay. <laughs> Alright, so I'm like super lost on what was going on in all of that. Um, the song is fun. Um, but I feel like, yeah, there's... I missed about 99.9% .9 of that video. I went right over my head. Um, all right, let's get into the lyrics. And I don't know, maybe that'll help a little bit, but I doubt it. Uh, I see it. Right, hold on. Yeah, banana and ban banana are okay. Yep, puns. Got it. All right, so yeah, it is like I thought. There's a lot of puns going on in here and uh, a lot of rhyming puns in the song. Um, okay. Like, maybe I can catch some of them here then. So, 
어떤 어제 한테 이 가사 쓰려고 몇개좀 배워왔어 Let's go 결혼한 복숭아는 웹인 피스 많이 높아 있는 와이파이 소신 후각의 스티파니 속아 위로 올라간다 서어른 너무해 너무해 그래 너는 무해 잘못 봤다가 매잘 닮아갈 수 있어 제게 they mix in whoever was doing the dad jokes into the production and like uh skip it like essentially cuz that's hysterical um yeah i think that's a cool song that it exists i would have to learn a lot more korean to catch any of it really um hmm I wonder if there's like an explainer out there somewhere for it because I think that might be that might be fun to watch. Um okay. Next one up is Dara Da, which is Wean, Jeff Bernat and Bio something. Um maybe just Bio. Um but there wasn't a live performance or a music video for this, but a behind the scenes video. So rather than do our usual thing of watching the special clip first and then the lyrics video, we're going to watch the lyrics video first and then we're going to watch the behind the scenes um clip of them. I think it's recording the song. So let's get into it. Yeah, yeah. 
Man, got a good voice too. Okay. Okay. That was wild. Um, I was 100% not expecting that, but the line distribution seemed like really even uh, between the three of them. Um, I thought this was going to be more like Jeff Bernat and Bo were featured uh, rather than like a full collaboration, but I really like what they came up with. Um, their voices harmonize really well and they kind of all hit different levels um, in terms of like where their voice sits in terms of like pitch um, and I don't know they they blend really well like really really well for for a group of people that I imagine don't sing together very often um, they sound like they do um yeah, that's another one of those like good walking in the park in the winter kind of songs. That's the vibe I get from from that or fall too. I think it would work as a, like a good fall and winter song. Um, yeah, after this, let's let's go see what the official sketch uh, is of them filming this. Oh, there's no subtitles. Shoot. Oh, this is, oh, so this is Jeff Bernard. Right. <laughs> I think this would have been good to go. Uh, I don't peel by 
I do wish I knew what they were saying. And only that I get my everything. <laughs> <laughs> Is Bio a producer too? Because it seems like he was getting a lot of creative input. Unlike chemistry, huh? She's adorable. <laughs> Yo, shout out to Jeff Burnett over here. Shout out to some old dudes. Holding it down in the studio. Recording this American? hit song for my homegirl. It's about to be a hit. <laughs> Peace. I'm out. Peace. Oh, that was a cool video. Um, I don't really have any idea what she was saying or what Bio was saying, but it was like, I love seeing behind the scenes, like recording footage like that. Um, I believe though, that brings us to the end of the album. Um, and I think with the exception of that last song, like we got almost no retro jazzy vibes on the on the album like that last one kind of brought it back and tied it into the rest of their discography but it felt like they were really experimenting with their sound in this album quite a bit um and that's really cool to see i know next up is the start of the four seasons project um we're also going to start weaving in their solo projects because I believe the first one is either right before or right after Yellow Flower. I'm gonna have to take a look at my list. Uh, one of the lovely commenters has uh, and members of the Discord has built a list for me of the um, solo projects in order and where they fall um, with the actual discography. So um, thank you. And we will see you in the next one. Love you. Bye.